I tend to use a lanky probe. I like it more in terms of uh, its geometry and its sharpness at the tip. Um, I tend to use a straight lanky, but not everybody does that. There's some value to using a curved lanky as well. Now, when you use a gear shift, especially in a, t uh, a small pedicle, you don't always have to tap, but I do tend to tap, and I will undersize tap. So if I expect to put in a 5.5 screw, for example, or in this case, maybe a 5.0 screw, I will tend to tap with an undersized tap. Many people think like, what's the point of doing that? But the reason that I tend to use a tap is to center the pilot hole. Because again, I free headed my way through the pedicle. There's a chance that I'm eccentric within the pedicle. I'm a little on the lateral edge of the cancellous bone or the medial edge or higher or low. When I run a tap through, because you're not applying much in the way of forces, it tends to self-center. It will bounce off the cortical margin at whatever side it's close to. It tends to center the screw. And I like that technique and it only takes a second to do. Here you can kind of see that the lateral mass screws are over here and they line up and they look pretty good here. You can see that the thoracic pedicle screws, by putting a bit of thought into the start point, they really line up beautifully. And you can see here, just with the alignment afterwards, that everything looks like it's very much in alignment.